Welcome, 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 family to Queen Sophia Tarot. Back here again with a general message for the collective. Um, it's going to be general, okay? Um, let's see what we have here. Remember to take what resonates and to leave what does not. Gonna check the energy here. Thanks uh, for all the likes, the shares, the subscriptions. I see you. I thank you. I send my love to you. Sincerely. Okay. Um, let's see what the divine has here for us. Okay. All the spirit angel guys, what do you have here for the collective? Please and thank you. Remember to only take what resonates and to leave what does not. What's the energy here for the collective? Please and thank you. Spirit. What do we have here? We have friendship. We have strength in the reverse. Okay. We have the second chakra in the reverse. And we have the seventh chakra in the reverse. We have presence, <clears throat> presence in the reverse at the bottom of the day. <clears throat> so let's check this energy here. Somebody feels like some type of um, friendship or connection. It's not strong enough. Oh, wow. Maybe like it's falling apart or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Somebody's emotions are, you know, you're probably feeling sad about something here. You need to be uplifted. Okay. Yeah, um, you don't feel like you're getting the support that you need um, in this partnership or this friendship or this rela relationship here. Okay, hmm. You feel like you're putting more into it than the next person here? Well, let's see what we have here. Okay, I'm feeling like, well, something needs to be closed or there's some type of interference of some sort here. Okay. What's your divine spirit? I'm picking up that someone is jealous of you. Okay. You may be aware of this or you may not be aware of this. But somebody's <clears throat> interfering with your connection some kind of way here. Um, will this be a partnership, a family situation, or some type of commitment or relationship here? What do we have here, divine spirit? Please and thank you. What's the energy here for the collective? What's the message that you have here for the collective? Holy Spirit, angel guides, I love, truth, and light. What do you have here? Please and thank you. Okay, let's see what we have. Somebody hasn't healed yet, okay. Wow, from whatever this connection is, somebody's still hurting, okay. Hmm. Somebody's wanting somebody to, to, to come back. Um, they're feeling alone here. It's what I'm getting here. And this connection here. Okay. We have emotional in intimacy. Okay. You feel like this person isn't being open with you. Okay. And this is weakening the connection here. Okay. You're trying not to cry about it. Okay, you're trying not to cry about it, but it's hard to hold your emotions back here. Okay, you know, this is hurting some of you a great deal. What else is here? What else is here, Divine Spirit? What else is here? I mean, for some reason, I couldn't sleep, so maybe, you know, you guys can't sleep. I don't know because of this. Okay, some of you are still attached to your ex here. Okay, and you're wondering, you know, how they feel about you. Do they still share those emotions with you? Okay, for some of you, you want your ex back here. Okay, and you might be crying that this relationship is just not as together as it used to be here. The, um, the intimacy, uh, the emotional um, attachment that you guys had together. Um, it's not where it should be, okay? 
Wow. You don't feel like you've been, you know, you haven't healed from this, whatever this is. Okay. Yeah, you didn't want to let somebody go here. Or somebody let you go and you didn't want them to go or, you know, reverse it um, when necessary. Okay. Uh, reverse the rules. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you may feel like it's the right time, but your person felt like it was not the right time. I don't know, but, you know, something's uneasy about this whole situation here. We're going to dig a little deeper here. But definitely somebody's in their emotions here um, about this here, okay? And they don't know quite what to do here. Wow. Somebody's missing somebody. Um, possibly an ex or something or... You know, they didn't want this separation or possible breakup or whatever this is, Spirit. What's going on here? Okay, yeah, definitely somebody's hurting here. Okay, Spirit just clarified that. Let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah, somebody feels like something's just falling down all around them here. Hmm. What's here, Spirit? Please and thank you. You want your person back. You want things back the way they used, it used to be. Okay, you're definitely missing the friendship here. The connection that you guys had. There's something special between you two that you're not willing to let go. Okay. Yeah. What's here, Divine Spirit? here for the collective please and thank you what would you like for them to know what would you like for them to know we have a flirt here okay extend your lighthearted energy to others okay hmm but I'm picking up a different energy with that. Okay, you're not wanting to flirt with anybody else. Maybe this is what your person is telling you. Like, you know, go out and date. And, you know, maybe they're not the one. Okay, maybe it's not the right time for us or something like that. But you beg to differ is what I'm getting here. Okay. Emotional intimacy is in reverse. Spirit is, is, is advising you to love yourself first here. Okay. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so Spirit is giving you a little advice about yourself here. Okay, regardless of what this person wants you to do. Okay, do what you feel in your heart here. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Please thank you. Maybe you're hurt because your person is flirting with someone else here. Okay. And you know about it, but you still have an attachment to your ex. Okay, this is what I'm picking up here. What else is here? Spirit, please and thank you. Keep an open mind here. For those of you who are in tears, okay? Well, just keep an open mind. Love yourself first. Even if you know that your ex is out flirting with someone else, okay? Nothing's so in concrete. Nothing's, you know, solidified. Flirting is just what it is. Flirting is not you know, committing, they're not committing themselves to someone else at the present time. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Hmm. For some of you, you just want the connection back, okay? Yeah. We have retreat. <clears throat> Up under attacks, uh, attached to my ex, okay? You don't want to let this connection go. Um... Wow. You felt like you and your person should still be together. <laughs> right? Right now, you don't quite understand why you're not together with your person. You didn't want your person to be your ex is what I'm getting here. You want things to be the way they used to be here. Hmm. You didn't want to let go of this connection. You didn't want to let go. But something something caused some type of interruption with your um with your ex here. 
Okay. Something caught you off guard here. What, what is the spirit? Okay. Maybe your partner wasn't expressing the love that you so desired here. Okay, because something they felt, you felt was not the right time, but something they felt was the right time here. What else is here, Spirit? What else is here? Well, these cards fly, they fly. Yeah, because there's some deception here. Okay, I'm getting that your, your ex... Okay, the person that you still want to be with, that you're still attached to, you know that they kind of pull on your heartstring. You have deep feelings for this person. There's something they weren't being honest with you about here. Okay, very soon you'll find out what that is. That's what Spirit is saying here. You'll find out what that is. Clarity, uh, clarity, decide what you want uh, to want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so if this is what you want, um, collective. Um, it's clearly up to you. Some of you are still attached to your ex. Okay, some of you know that your ex is floating, uh, flirting with someone else, okay? But Spirit is reminding you to always love yourself first here and keep an open mind about the situation here. Uh, some of you could be blocking a new love from coming in simply because you're attached to your ex here, okay? Emotionally attached here, okay? So, so to the point where you're in, in tears, okay? And you haven't healed from the separation here you didn't want to let this go okay and you're going to be finding out whatever the deception was really soon here okay because either you're not wanting to move on to a new love because you're attached to your ex or you're blocking your new love from coming in because you're attached to your ex okay take it however it's next okay hmm let's dig a little deeper here get a few of these out See what's going on here, Spirit? Can you please clarify for the collective what's going on here? Yeah, I, I don't I don't get that you like the fact that your ex is flirting with someone else. It really bothers you to the point that it brings you to tears. Whether you admit this or show this uh, to anyone or not, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it, it especially bothers you when you're by yourself here, okay? Wow. But you're around people, you try to stay positive. Okay, but you're hurting inside because you know that something happened. Something interrupted your relationship here with your partner here. Okay, there was some type of a deception here. Okay, um, hmm. what's your spirit? Please clarify for the collective. Please and thank you. You're missing your person, okay? You're missing their absence, okay? You're, you're, you're missing the things you used to do. Or whatever, but your ex is behind whatever is going on here. Okay, this is where deception um is coming in at. Wow. The deception is that your ex had sex with somebody that they were flirting with here is what I'm getting here. Okay. And this is why emotional intimacy is in the reverse here because your ex um had sex with somebody else, okay? But I'm getting that your your ex initiated this with a third party karmic here. Okay. Somebody they were just fighting with. They, you know, there's nothing serious that they want to get serious with this person or anything like that. But they did do this, okay? <clears throat> they did do this. But they did it at the wrong time here. Okay, especially when it comes to the affairs of heart of the heart with you, collective. Okay. Wow. Hmm. You want to tell your person how much you know you love them, but you know the betrayal is, is you know. It hurts, okay? It hurts so much that it brought you to tears. I feel masculine. Um, wow. The deception, okay? You may have felt that your person was flirting with someone else, okay? Your ex here. But it's done that your ex is behind it, okay? Wow. By not being honest with you because, you know, the cards are saying... Spirit is saying that they had sex with someone else, okay? And you feel like things that went too far, okay? But your person is wanting you to know that that flirt was just a fling here. They, they weren't serious with this person here. They weren't serious, okay? Nonetheless, this hurt you, okay? 
But seriously, you have to decide whether whether you want your person back after the deception or not. Here, it's clearly up to you to become unhinged, okay, um, and and heal yourself here, um, because things are simply falling apart, or you're simply falling apart emotionally here. This is what I'm getting here. Anything else here, spirit? What do they need to know? What is it that the collective needs to know? Please and thank you. Hmm. What else is here? Spirit, please and thank you. What else is here? Hmm. Some of you are really undecided if you... Because your person did go out and fight with somebody else, the trust issue is there. You know, you're at a maybe, maybe I want him back, maybe I do, maybe I don't, I don't know. Okay, you don't know which direction to go with this here. You want to see clearly, okay? So you must decide clearly what you want now, okay? Um, hmm. You're worried. You're worried, okay? You're worried because things have went too far here with this flame, okay? This is, the, this is the third party karma that came in between you and your person's relationship. Okay, I'm getting it was suddenly. Okay, this happened suddenly for some of you. Okay, wow. I don't know why your ex decided to do this. To go out and flirt with this flame. Um, it wasn't anything serious. But hmm, things went a little too far here. Okay. Now you feel like things are falling apart. You had a yes, no, maybe I want to deal with this person again. Maybe I don't. Even though I know it was a fling, I still have, you know, a connection. I, I still love my, 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 my person, my ex, you know. Even though we are in separation, I'm trying to keep an open mind to, to see whether or not I want this person back after they deceive me. Wow. Some of you are thinking about giving this person a second chance here. Yeah, as long as they pledge to do the right thing by you, okay? Hmm. Are you worried if they can be totally dedicated to you after they did this deceitful thing behind your back, even though it was just a fling? Okay, your person just, you know. <laughs> yeah, your person just didn't know how to tell you. They weren't serious with this third-party karma. It was just a fling. Their total devotion is is to you collective okay um wow but they're worried they're worried because they didn't know how to tell you that they became unhinged or caught in a moment or something like that they didn't know how to tell you that they did have sex with somebody but it was just a fling okay and this is a deception that spirit is, is bringing to you um about your ex that your ex did it your ex was behind it okay and they didn't know how to tell you. I'm feeling that they were worried that, you know, that this would really um, damage their relationship. They're worried about it now. They're worried about it whether, you know, if they went too far with it. But they wanted to, you know, totally commit to you. That's why pledges here. They want to totally commit to you. Um, they didn't know how to tell you that, you know, they slipped up and... They fucked up literally, okay? But it was just a fling. You know, some one night stand shit with a karmic, with a third party. Hmm, it's got you all in your feelings, okay? You're, it's hard for you to heal from this here. You know, to accept them back, you don't know. It's a yes, no, or maybe here. Hmm. What else is here? Whoever this thing, thing is, okay, you're going to call it a thing because that's what spirit called it. This thing fling is, you know, they wanted to flirt with your person. I'm kind of getting that they, you know, kind of pushed it, pushed your person into this, you know, like some seductive type, you know, stuff here. Okay, be it masculine or feminine here. Okay. 
What else is here, Spirit? What else is here? And they wanted your person, like, you're, you're kind of deciding that you just want to break it off completely or, you know, this attachment to your ex is, is strong here. I mean, it's really strong. Okay? But your person is worried. But they do plan to come towards you again because they don't want things to fall apart. They're worried. They're worried and they want to totally commit to you. They didn't know how to tell you that they messed up, okay? With this third party karmic that was just a fling, okay? A one time mistake that they had sex with somebody and it didn't mean shit to your person, okay? It was just a fling. Somehow, they got caught up. They got caught up in the moment. I'm hearing they got caught up in the moment. Okay. They may have been drinking a little too much or partying too much. And this seductive uh, energy came around them somehow and caught them off guard. And things went a little too far. And they may have told this thing, fling, thing, fling. Spirit keeps calling it a thing, thing, fling. That um, karmic, that things that went a little too far here. Okay. And they may have told them, hey, you were just a fling. I didn't. You're not my person, you know. I don't want you. And Spirit is saying, literally, your person doesn't want this this, this karmic, this karmic fling thing, a thing fling, whatever you want to call it. Okay? Um, but this karmic wanted your person. Let's see why. What else is here, Spirit? Your person is worried because somebody saw them. Okay? Somebody saw them with this third party karmic here and that's why they they didn't know how to tell you okay they didn't they were worried okay they're still worried well that somebody saw them have sex with somebody else hmm this third party karmic only wanted your person for sex because they knew they were dedicated to you and they knew that they were only just a fling but just to upset you and get you worried they did this shit to your person okay they seduced your person okay they, they found your person at a weak vulnerable point or you know state of mind or something here i'm getting that your person was not themselves when this happened here okay this person might have planned to even do this to your person Okay, it's what I'm getting here too. Wow. Just so they could throw it in your face, okay? Or have you disconnected from your person, but knowing that you still love your person. Okay, this karmic is um, unhinged. Okay. Wow. Because this karmic knew, and you may know this person, that your person was dedicated to you. Okay. You still love your person, but you don't know it's a yes, maybe, or no, if you want your person back or not. What else is here, Spirit? Both of you guys are worried, you and your ex, okay? Well, your ex didn't know how to tell you what happened, but this third-party karmic did it because they just wanted to have sex with your person, okay? Because they knew that your person was committed to you. Wow, this is some jealous-ass energy that can't find their own person here. Okay, wow, this fling thing ass karmic here. They just wanted to have sex with somebody. Just, just so happened to pick your person here. Okay, wow. This could have been at a club, a party. I'm even getting a birthday party, some type of gathering. Okay, this just happened at. Or this could have been a visitor. Somebody that was just in town for a short while here. And they looked at you and saw how handsome or how beautiful you were. And they looked at your person and, you know, they took took the opportunity here. Wow. Hmm. Somebody with a nasty attitude, okay? They knew this person truly loved you here. They knew that your person truly loved you here. Mm-hmm. What else is here, Spirit? Anything else? And yeah, this person had a nasty attitude. They caught your person when your person's judgment was pretty cloudy here. And I'm hearing that this was purposely done here. Okay. Now you're 
in your feelings, you're in your emotions. You still love your person, but you don't know if you can forgive your person or not. You don't know if you can get them, you know, want them back um, after this has happened or not. But Spirit is letting you know that your person is worried just as much as you because somebody did see this. And this third party karmic made sure somebody else saw it or knew about it. But they only wanted your person for sex here. And they made it seem like your ex was behind it all here. But they just wanted to have sex with somebody. It didn't even matter who it was. Whether it was your person or somebody else's. It's just so happened that at this point in time that your person had a cloudy judgment. Whether they were under the influence or something like that. This person just wanted to have sex with somebody. And they targeted your person to do this with. Okay, Because they knew that this would also cloud your judgment as to whether or not you know when you found this information out. And they made sure that somebody else saw it and knew about it. Uh, and that your person was dedicated to you. Okay? And that you were in a stable relationship with your person. This is why they did it. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. And your person, with the deception, your person was hiding the truth from you because they didn't know how to tell you. This is what Spirit is saying. They know that things went too far. And they told this karmic that too. Yeah. The karmic somehow put their number in your person's phone. You may want to give them a call and tell them some shit because they only want to have your person trapped. Okay. Yeah. Because they had an eyewitness. Like, we're going to trap this person because we know that they're totally committed to you, Collective. And so... They got somebody else to work along with them because they knew that you guys were in a stable relationship and they wanted to break it up with unhinged here. Um, but they just simply wanted to have sex just to say they did it. They knew what they were just a fling. And when your person came out of whatever the under the influence they were, they said, oh, hell no, this shit went too far. But now they didn't know how to tell you. Okay. And now, well, well. Once you find this phone number, you may be even planning on meeting up with this karmic and give this karmic a piece of your mind here. Okay? Because this eyewitness might come up and tell you who this karmic is, okay? But your person wants to make it up to you. If that's any comfort with your decision, with your yes, no, or maybe here. Okay? Your person wants to make it up to you here. Wow. Anything else here? Anything else you'd like to for the collector to be aware of? Except for that person that did it has a nasty attitude. Because they know they're just a fling thing. A thing. Well, with a nasty attitude here. This karmic. That came in between you and your person. Okay. <laughs> Causing problems here. That was their that was their main thing. To cause problems in a stage of sta your stable relationship. They wanted to cause problems. That's the only thing they wanted to do. Wow. Well, it also could have been a karmic family member. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I want to pull out. Well, let me get this deck. And then I want to pull out another deck that I have. Spirit, tell us more about this karmic please and thank you yeah your person may you or your person may be wanting to meet up with this karmic and trap this karmic that was causing you guys problems okay because your person definitely wants to make it up to you because if this was nothing but a fling your person's uh, ju judgment was cloudy i'm getting that they were under some type of influence or something like that <clears throat> They know some, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody's not wanting me to get the truth out here. They knew that you were in a stable relationship um, with your person. Your person was in a stable relationship with you. They did this just to come in between you. Okay, just to, just to be aware of you, just to get you guys separated here. Okay, yeah. Their desire was to make you sick here. Okay, and, and, and to cause you and your person to break up here is what I'm getting here. All right, maybe break up your happy home. Wow. What else is here? Mm-hmm. And I wanted to make it look like 
your your ex you know knew all about it what they were doing and wow they even took the time out to put their number in your ex's phone okay to make it all look real hmm so i'm getting this is somebody that you know somebody that's around you somebody that you may least expect here they may even have their their name in your phone as um uh, like a pet name like you know what i mean like something that you wouldn't discover here you know yeah this person wanted to have you sad so yeah this is definitely somebody that you know okay they want to cause so, some type of um, misfortune or some type of tower or disruption in your relationship here yeah something they know that would cause you to have a lot of worry okay and you know trying to figure out if you if you want your person back or not you know they knew that this would would do this and for some of you they intentionally want to break up your your happy home here okay wow and make you sad simply because they don't have anybody okay wow they don't have anybody to love them okay this third party karmic here that was just a fling thing all right but your person's totally committed to you this person was only coming around to cause problems but your person wants to make it up to you okay yeah we have loss here this person that was causing problems only wanted to see you at a loss and be sad here okay wow but the spirit is urging you to decide what you want to do here knowing that this person was just a fling and that your person is totally dedicated to you here be a masculine masculine or feminine energy take it how it resonates okay what else do we have here Yeah, some of you could be married or have been planning on getting married and this person could have heard about it or known about it and they picked your person out just to do this just just to cause you this loss and this sadness and to be worried about whether or not your person could be totally committed to you okay i'm getting this shit was staged i'm hearing staged okay this was staged wow what else is here spirit that's why I'm getting at is somebody around you and your energy, somebody that you know. Okay, somebody that wants you to feel hopeless here. Okay. Hopeless in, you know, your partnership, your marriage here. If you guys are married, they wanted you to feel hopeless, break up your happy home. If you guys want a commitment, they want you to feel hopeless. If you guys were thinking about getting married, they wanted you to have a change of heart. Okay, this is some evil ass energy here. Evil ass karmic energy. <clears throat> Jealousy vibes I'm getting here. Wow. They know that you're the type of person that wouldn't want this person if they had sex with somebody. Here. Okay. There's something about some money here, too, as well. Maybe they want to interfere with your money or they don't want you with your person. Okay. Because they know that you, you'll be well taken care of or, you know, vice versa. That you, you're well off or something like that. And they simply just don't want you to be with your person here. Okay. But they did this intentionally. This was intentionally done. You know, it didn't have to be your person that they just want to have sex with. But they just want to have sex with somebody. Uh, and they just happen to find your person, you know, um, with clouded judgment or under the influence or something at the time. Here. Okay. Your person is hoping that you don't judge them for this because, you know, it was something that they wouldn't have done. Okay. And they want to make it up to you. But they don't, they don't know how to tell you that this happened because they're in disbelief that it happened themselves here. Okay. And whoever this is, I told you they were jealous. They were watching you too. They were very, very jealous of you. Okay. And they wanted to see you in worry and in grief and in loss. And they wanted to, to put you guys in separation simply because this person has nothing else to do. They have no life. They have no, no love life. Their life has fallen apart. Okay, has already fallen apart. And when they seen that your person was so dedicated to you, this is why they targeted your person. And because they knew that you had a stable relationship with your person. And they knew your person had a stable relationship with you. So they came in causing problems. Wow. Hmm. They knew your person wouldn't 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 know how to tell you this, okay? And they they did this to break this up, to break you guys up. Because they have nobody. 
This is pure jealousy from this karmic here. Good God. Mm. I'm getting that. You have sleepless nights here. You're at the yes, no, maybe stage. You're going back and forth in your head here. The masculine. Okay, because, well, this was like a terror moment for you here. I feel like things are just falling apart. Any plans you made, you know, well, the way that you wanted your love life to look, you know, the commitment here, you know, the pledge that you and your person made, made to each other. You may be in separation now, but you'll soon be getting back together here. Okay, in love here. This is the message um, that's that's being sent out here, okay? Some of you may be receiving a gift here, or you are a gift to your person here, and your person wants to let you know that, okay? And they may want to make it up to you um, with a gift here, okay, of some sort here. Wow. What else do we have here, Spirit? Yeah, because you mean everything to this person here. You mean everything to this person here. And this karmic ass witch here, okay? This karmic ass witch, and that's what I'm going to call it, a fling thing, karmic ass witch, doesn't have anybody. This is a lonely somebody. They just look for people to have sex with, and they just so happen to pick out your person. This person is unhinged, okay? There's an ending uh, coming for this, this karmic here, okay? There's an ending for this karmic, okay? Wow. For coming towards you okay there's an ending for this karmic for coming towards you and your person here and your relationship that's what spirit said yeah hmm this shit is coming to a halt here okay well yeah it's an ending for them a sad ending for this karmic they just wanted to have sex with somebody and have to choose your person collective them masculine they, yeah, they run forth their own ending here. Take that how it resonates here, okay? Wow. One more spirit. They wanted you to think that your ex, you know, was what's behind it, but no, this person just wanted to have sex with somebody and they picked your person out. Hmm, wow, we had a jealousy. Jealousy. This is somebody that that's around you collective here. This is all the fuck they thought about when they saw you and your person together here is how jealous they were. How jealous they were of seeing you two together here. They were very, very jealous here. They were watching and spying and shit like that, you know. This is all they could think about. Seeing you two together. This made this person sick. You see them in the background here, watching you two. They knew that you two were totally committed to one another. And all they could think about was how they could break you two up. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's some um, unexpected uh, joy coming out of all of this, even though there are some tears being shed here. Let's see. It's a lot of anxiety going on here, okay? Because you, you had a yes, no, maybe if you want your person back or not. Mm. Let's get some kipper out here. Oh no, let's get this right here. Okay, maybe you and your person are about to go on a honeymoon. They wanted to, you know, destroy that. Could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that did this. Okay. Could have been any sign. Did your person want this person? No. Okay. They didn't want this person. Had no intentions on being with this person. Okay. Hmm. No, they, they didn't want. They didn't want. Well, they didn't want this person. This person wanted your person. That's what Spirit said. I said it could have been an air sign. This is somebody your person wouldn't even to talk to, okay? They're not into in, in communication or anything like that, and they're not forgiving this person for what they did to them. Wow. Mm -hmm. This person may have just stepped in the picture and stepped out real fast just to cause some 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 trouble. That's what I'm getting here. 
kind of message for the collective. Yeah, this karmic is nothing but a narcissist here because nobody loves them. Intimacy is in the reverse here. All right? There's no sex or chem chemistry between you and this per your person and this person here. All right? Wow. This person is full of themselves because they just want to have sex with somebody. Okay? Because they know that you're in a commitment, your person was in a commitment, and they were willing to go the distance to go the distance to trap your person. Okay, this person is nothing but a liar. Okay. All right. No, nothing but a liar. Your person didn't know how to tell you because they knew they were set up. Okay. Your person's in a lot of anxiety right now. Same as you. Okay. Well, but you're still trying to figure this shit out, okay? Whether or not you want to be with this person. Okay. This is a connection. This is you guys here in the middle. X marks the spot. And then this is a figure eight here. But this is also the the love that binds you together is what I'm getting here with this card. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Hmm. This karmic energy just wanted to have sex with somebody. They don't even know who they are. They're in this gloom and doom energy here. Okay. They probably don't have any friends. So they probably, you know, go around just doing, you know, sadistic shit to people. And when they see two people happy, they get jealous because they don't have anybody. This karmic was just a, a thing fling. That's what spirit called it, a fling thing here. Okay, to try to manifest something that was not never going to happen. But spirit wants you to manifest what you want. Manifest what you want out of this relationship. Okay? Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay? And you can come out of this yes, no, or maybe energy. Okay? Tell the universe exactly what you want and be clear about what you want. Okay? Very soon. Very soon. It says clearly set what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay? The universe is going to manifest exactly what you want here out of this relationship. You still have an attachment to your ex. I'm, I'm hearing that there's still time to mend this, to bring this back together. Okay, wow. One more spirit, okay. Yeah, if you want a new beginning with your person, I mean, go for it, okay. All signs are go here. All signs are go. Gabriel, Angel Gabriel is, is blowing the horn here, okay. Your guardian angels are with you, whatever decision you decide to make, okay. Wow, I'm getting Angel Gabriel. I'm getting Archangel Michael. I'm getting protection of this relationship now. Where no one or no thing can come in between it. Okay? Because it's, it's, it's connected. Manifest it. Manifest what you want. Like Spirit said, manifest what you want. And let the divine universe what you want to do now. And be clear about what you want. Okay? Be clear, clear about it. One more spirit, please and thank you. Wow. Somebody's watching over this relationship because they know that it's worth mending. That, you know, it's something that's meant to be together. You and your person. Yin and yang energy. Okay. What else is here? I'm hearing the perfect match. And maybe that's why you're still attached to your ex here. They want to make it up to you, okay? The mistake, but they're hoping that you'll forgive them here and take them back. This was a setup by malicious uh, karmic energy here that took advantage of your person here. I mean, some people say, well, you know, 
Uh, they wouldn't have done this. They wouldn't have done that. But sometimes the things do happen and people don't remember. They literally don't remember. Just like when people sleepwalk, they don't remember that they, you know, they were sleepwalking and, you know, um, things can happen. And it could be an honest mistake, okay? And you're trying to decide whether or not you will let this person back in your life. Well, this was an honest mistake, okay? This was a setup. This was somebody that's jealous of you and your person and the commitment that you guys have together. What else is here, Spirit? Any final messages for the collective? Okay. could be a water sign of Cancer Scorpio Pisces that we're talking about here. You could be, okay, you and your partner may be uh, distant emotionally right now, okay, or physically, okay, but what I'm seeing here is a connection. It's a connection, okay, that can be mended, that can be brought back together, okay, Here's a lot of intimacy, intimacy between you two here, okay? Wow. You're missing your person. Your person's missing you. They didn't know how to tell you what happened. But this other karmic energy just came around to cause problems, okay? They thought that they could do some type of love spell on your person here, okay? Possibly even lie and say they were pregnant when they weren't, okay? Like I said, this could be an air sign. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay. The ones that cause some, some type of problem, some type of challenge for you to have you in this type of energy and this yes, no, or maybe, you know, um, stage as, as to where or not you want your, your person back with spirit saying, open up your heart. Decide clearly what it is that you want. Okay, is this connection worth saving? Having? Are you going to let this karmic energy mess it up for you? That's what Spirit is saying here. Wow. Hmm. Anything else here, Spirit? Commitment. There's that connection again. If you want your person back, you know, Spirit has gotten you to open your heart. Open your heart. Know that there will always be some challenges, okay? But be prepared because these karmic energies are out here just to destroy something because they can't have it, okay? If it's something that you want, then go for it. Go for it, okay? And don't look back. Go for it. Go for it. Anything else? Okay, if you're not communicating, do call your person. Do call your person. Talk to them. You know, things can be mended, okay? This can be put back together. There's commitment here. Rise above the challenges and open your heart. Open your heart, okay? Well, I'll clearly decide what, what you want. It can't be a yes, no, or maybe. Just clearly decide what you want. The universe is calling on you to do so. So with that being said, you know, the person, your person is, it will confess to you and will tell you the truth. Okay. They will tell you the truth. Okay. All the divine timing here. This other person was just some type of gold digging ass liar here. Okay. They wanted you to let your person go. One of the things to change in your life here. Okay. Well, they don't have any say so over your life here. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well is what I'm getting here. Yeah, the spirit is, I felt the spirit is saying communicate with your person. Contact your person if you haven't. Contact your person, okay? Because this is somebody that just tried to interfere. Here, and they thought they could hold something over your person's head. That that wasn't clearly your person's fault here. They didn't know how to tell you what happened. But now they're saying spiritually, uh, through the divine spirit, sending a message to you that they want a stable relationship with you, Okay? But Spirit is wanting you to know that you have to decide if you want them back. Are you a forgiving person? Are you? That's what Spirit is saying, okay? 
Wow. I'm going to end the message right there. Um, take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Stay safe. Much love. And I'm Queen.